hello doers welcome back to another episode of the do sis podcast and as you can see i'm not with janelle again i'm with garisa <laughs> again and i think you're like honestly by this point a honorary memory of the podcast because mm-hmm. you've been here like three times three in a row i feel around. janelle and i have to get our shit together that's why <laughs> because we're just kind of going back and forth with yeah. everything but don't worry we're here to give you a podcast episode and video finally um i apologize for last week i did have an episode out and i deleted it and i'm not gonna <laughs> say sorry about it i just wasn't what i wanted to do and in the moment i thought so but it's okay we could talk about that another time another, yeah. day. another day but um how are you sis i'm good um i don't look the best but um, I'm fine. Good, good. I'm fine. Um, I have new foundation. If anybody cared, um, I'm loving this Laura Mercier foundation. Loving it. Mm-hmm. Um, I was hoping I would because it was like fifty bucks. So and for a small as bottle, may I add? Yeah. But it looks good. I'm loving the complexion. Mm-hmm. I'm good. thanks. Kara looks- has a habit of like always looking nice and then we record and we don't look good yeah i just feel <laughs> <laughs> it's like she always has makeup i just on. feel like i don't wear makeup as much anymore for work i probably should i started wearing makeup a little bit more to work like the last two weeks i probably wore it like every day mm-hmm. so the weekends i'm never wearing it yeah at all i just want to hear you okay um but because it's such a small bottle i don't want to use it all the time because it is 50 bucks but i see why Mm -hmm. i see why it's good product it's great on my skin and i'm on my journey of trying to be a makeup girly and i'm there i'm getting there Mm -hmm. and we're happy about it but yes i wanted you know i wanted to have a reason to wear my makeup and lashes aside from going out which i don't do so (laughs) this is my reason this is my reason this is it yeah um so quick little recap of what's going on this past weekend um i had a very chill chill saturday sunday i want to say like grocery shop oh i know what i did i got y'all should follow me on tiktok because i did a little try on haul there so i went to old navy mm-hmm. and i went on the perfect day everything was 50 percent off oh i have an old navy i mean if card. you if you read our text messages i don't well you, you texted me during the weekday no i texted you yesterday you saying that oh my god ladies it's the perfect day to buy shorts everything's 50 percent off so but yeah everything so i got i only spent 88 dollars i got three pairs of shorts a cute bodysuit may i add that i've never worn bodysuit again good look at my tiktok it looks really cute um some workout shorts uh and some like just flowy shirts all for 88 dollars. oh and this ring but nobody cares about that for 88 dollars and if i would have you know had a military card i probably would have got more i had i have a gift card to old navy how much um like 14 15 bucks and i was like i don't really know i don't ever really go to old navy uh such an underrated store um i mean i didn't see your text yesterday but dang yeah it's it's, over I mean, it's a today only, so I guess. <laughs> but the good thing about the outlets, they're always having sales. Yeah, was, but yeah, and oh, I know. The outlet. Yeah, I went to the outlet. Uh, and everybody docks old day because it's like, you know, old people clothes. I love a good basic. And like I said, they have I the shorts. Old and, Navy has basics. It's, they, they that's all you need. Trends. No, they're not trendy at all. But that's right. why they've been in business and they have good quality because they're not trendy. Yeah. Trendy goes away. Basics never do. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I got like some cute shorts and stuff for the trip, which is coming in 20 days, may I add. I'm so excited. Have you got anything else for the trip? No. No? I went one full day. We went that day shopping. Yeah. Haven't been since. Okay. But I also realized, days. like, when I was pulling something out of my closet, like, I was like, okay, I have shorts. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You know saying. what I mean? Like, I, but still not an excuse. So probably, like, not this check, but, like, the following. The, literally the week. We um, leave. The week we leave. It's probably what I'm going to have to buy. Like, yeah, and that's what I was telling D-Rock, my but boyfriend. honestly, my stuff is just... I already told you what I'm wearing. Like, it's just shorts and a bathing suit. I was just about to say that. I was just telling my boyfriend that. I was like, you know, I have, like... I don't need a bathing suit for one... Oh, I also got bathing suits because Target also was having a 40% off sale on bathing suits. So, what I did was got tops from Target and then bottoms from Shein. Yeah, I know. They're not going to be the best quality, but they're going to do their job. But I was telling him, I was like, we don't really need to be, like, cute clothes all the time. Like, we literally just need to be bathing suits and shorts, though. But majority of hawaii like we're not you know instagram famous or content creators so it's not like you know we needed not yet yeah um to where we're like you know getting paid in a brand to go sit by a waterfall so mm-hmm. yeah and i don't really post anything yeah so you know it's not like i'm need outfits to like post yeah exactly and sense? honestly it's the next thing i'm buying it's just like you know sunscreen beach towels the things 
things like that things that we don't technically need but want to get and then like use all of our stuff experience there oh actually i've been really talking about it like i have a lot to buy and i have not bought it oh really <laughs> like as like sunglasses like nothing like you know just cute things you know um it's just so many things popped up like mother's day and mom's birthday just for some reason like we're yeah we got matching though, bracelets i don't know if you can see them they're super but cute even though it's every year it's like the same day every year for some reason like this year just felt like too close to it was it was close why. to yeah because like, you know I mean? technically i think it's because this year it fell on a different so i think mother's day is normally like the first sunday of may or maybe the second sunday i don't know but like it felt like literally one week was mom's birthday and the following week was like mother's day yeah yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but also too because Bella's graduation is in the same month. Yeah, and birthday. So I feel like everything. Is yeah, together, I guess yeah, everything was kind of you know? all at one time. So yeah. like, as an adult, you prioritize things. And shopping for myself was like, <laughs> And that's a great segue <laughs> into today's episode because like I don't know. If you don't even ask what I did this weekend. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> what did you do this weekend? Um, nothing much. I oh, took graduation okay. photos. How and did that then go? Where'd you take them? Yeah, where'd you take them? Texas A&M, San Antonio. That's where she goes. Yeah. I don't know why I thought she still went to like Palo Alto. Alto. That's only two years. Oh, that's true. That's tr- oh, true. Oh, true, true, true. <laughs> a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, I, I hate Palo Alto. No, just kidding. It's um, getting hot and my AC doesn't work. So no. So in my car. did that all day Saturday. It was hot, literally like 104 degrees taking photos. I'm so glad her graduation is in the Coliseum inside because I wouldn't have gone if it was outside. We love a supportive person. <laughs> not to, you um, know, endeavor. I mean, would I have gone? Yes. Would I have been happy? There you go. That's better. No, I, said, I would, I would have pissed. gone, but I hated the entire I moment. I hated the entire time. Yeah, we got to love that Texas heat. I have been inside my car and then run inside when you Because <laughs> <laughs> it's Texas. You don't want to be yeah, outside. Yeah, and that heat's... T- 104 degrees. And it's what it is. Derek and I were just talking about, like, it's not like... It's, it's also the humidity that adds on that because like dry heat i can deal with it's the suffocation no breathing don't get fuck if you know oh you're not gonna go with it no you don't you know the song yeah Suff- cut my, cut, cut my, cut, cut my breathing, right suffocation <laughs> no breathing okay i was up. yeah do you know what it picked up faster do you know what have included in this but i guess you know i knew the song do not, I actually was do you know do not my partner in crime do you know what have sung with me that's all i'm saying I, now I know for the future of my jokes not to do But you it. know what, Kiki? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to say this, and please don't come after me, because we're all against Amber Heard. No one likes her hair. But I was, for some reason, I've had like a, like a, like a calling to watch Never Back Down. Oh. Mm. It, it sucks. I don't, I'm, I don't think I'm going to watch her because I don't want to support her. But I went on like a Cameron phase. Do you remember? Yes. Well, I don't remember, but I went on a Cameron. I yes, I do. Name, but the guy who's a bad guy never backed down but yes I was uh to jay what's his name from twilight james james was it james james yes it was right, james. james it was okay. james well um i was like obsessed with him and every movie he was in like i watched it but for odd reason like stronger came on in my playlist i I'm hate like, that song i was like <laughs> i forgot how many songs slap and then it reminded me of the famous no, scene from never back down yes I watched yes it on yes yes and i was like oh i need to watch it and then i saw him or her yeah and, I was like, and that's oh. what happened because i was on a magic mic kick and she's also a magic mic too magic mic that was such a stupid movie. and the second one was a lot better but, but anyways, she's in that one and she's also there was another movie she was in that i wanted to watch disturbia she's not in disturbia bitch. She's in the other one <laughs> she's not in either one she's not in stepfather She's not Disturbia. Are you sure? Step, Who's uh, Stepfather? St- stepfather, that's the one with oh. Dan from... Uh, Carly, Carly Ray. Car- that, that's Carly Ray. No. <laughs> Carly and the Carly <laughs> Factory. <laughs> no, that's from Disturbia. Disturbia. Who's in Stepfather? Let's see. You. Is she in Stepfather? I want to say it's Amber Heard. Oh, my God. That bitch is... I don't know how she had an acting job, by the way. She's a good actor. She's the one pretty. she was like, she's and he pretty, steps though. on a bee. <laughs> steps on a bee? <laughs> like what? When she was like, and my my dog Look stepped on a beat, <laughs> or the or the <laughs> nose. Like I'm like, how did you get such terrible lawyers? I don't even know. What are we saying? The stepfather? Yeah, it's Amber Heard. Oh my god, I'm gonna be so upset. I love Han stepfather cast. <gasps> yeah, yeah, I was saying it's Amber Heard. It's Amber Heard. I mean, oh my god! That one or disturbed. Stepfather. Oh my god! But I love that movie genre. The like fake ones. The two thousand. There's another. There's another one. There's like a Disturbia, a Stepfather. 
when a stranger calls yeah like that calls. kind of uh vibe and, and i'm sure there's another one but i can't remember disclaimer there's laundry going in the background so oh, if y'all haven't if y'all you know hear care it. if y'all hear it, it's just laundry being done because one must do it um but yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know what to tell you about that one yeah, about the never back down. Maybe skip her scenes. Because <laughs> <laughs> honestly, it's not gonna give her money. No, sense. no, like, it's not gonna contribute to her bank account. But Just like, don't post it that you're watching anywhere yeah. before they come for you. But honestly, the guy, the main character, I thought he was so cute. In his little you know, he's, he's the the cop from Pretty Little Liars. Yeah, he's not that cute, and his acting <laughs> sucks. The whole time period, everybody <laughs> maybe sucks. Do this, mom. Like, I was looking at him, oh, like, I know, like sucks. mom, let him fight. I know, <laughs> but I'm not no, stop you. Like the whole, like, I don't it's know. a definitely a step up <laughs> genre. Because if you watch, if you rewatch Step Up. Like the second one, which was obviously better than the first, first one, one, it's just as like bad. That, that whole, yeah, <sighs> it's like honestly, Moose carried that movie. The whole like that franchise honestly just pissed me off. It's a stupid like I don't know how to explain it. No, like, I know. And then the Step stupid. Up three with like Allison Stoner. I hated her. Yeah, didn't like her. Um, what's another thing I was gonna say about that before we like go on? Mm-hmm. Oh, um, same thing with um. With Chris Brown and Columbus oh, Short. Oh, uh, Stomp the Yard. Stomp the Yard. If I you rewatch really watch that, I want to rewatch cringy. it because I saw a clip <laughs> about it and I remember I like, oh, I really want to watch Stomp the Yard. I just don't want to pay for it. You What's know what on? I mean? Because it's like on Prime and oh, we show. Have Prime at the house. I want to stop by. But I was watching that, and like, I kid you not, when I first watched that movie, I was like, I cannot wait to go to college. I want to go to college. Good Issa. Tutor. I (laughs) thought HBCU was going to be this Stomp the Yard vibe. I was sadly mistaken. I don't know if it's the HBCU I just went to. But you also go to like a. How, like, like a D, Howard. Like a That's what I'm saying. I don't know one. if it's HBCU I went to, but I was like expecting the poor chop. Oh my god, I remember every gravy. I remember I was so dramatic. I, I think I was in like seventh grade when that movie came out, and all of us were like, of course, like purposely tearing up because Chris Brown gets shot, mm-hmm. and we were like, oh my god, Chris Brown, and we were like in tears, like get he yourself was, together. Like, Chris Brown was like a Taylor Swift, where it's like, and Chris Brown, but he oh was god. in it for like probably the like seven first, minutes the, the oh my dancing God, scene and so then done funny. and yeah. then flashback and then done like, i think i'm gonna rewatch that because i've said that that's a feel-good movie mm-hmm. bring i was in a great time when that movie came out in my life and it was uh, it was just a good time yeah i was wanted to watch that too um i actually did so when i was watching it, i was like oh it's kind of cringy with like the whole acting like megan good was not a good actor like i don't know Plumber short it was like Okay, I don't know. It was just I remember all, thinking like, they're oh so cute. All of them were so hot, so especially cute. Sylvester. That that the main guy, the light skinned mm-hmm. guy. Yeah, I remember thinking he was so was cute. Was he in the um, this Christmas? Yes, he was. Right? He was the cheater. Should we just do a whole movie on black movies? <laughs> <laughs> no, he movies was super you have to cute. see if you haven't been black. Or what? <laughs> so if you if you never no, mind, I know what don't. I'm trying to say. Yeah, I don't say. Uh, yeah. Um. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into today's episode. Cause that's not what today's episode is <laughs> about. I don't know if y'all knew. Um, we're corporate girlies, or I'm kind of. Guys is more of a corporate girly because she has salary, but you know, whatever. Um, we work at a desk. That's corporate. We're at a desk. Job. We're at desk job girlies, and especially with Garisa, you know, I feel like it's you don't hang out with a lot of people. Like mm-hmm. you're like you have your job, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. So today's episode is balancing job life and social life. Mm-hmm. That's what today's episode is about. Because one, you have more of a social life than me because I have no friends, mm-hmm. except you and Janelle. And when y'all are busy, just me and my dogs, mm-hmm. you know. So I'm just kidding. I I have friends. I just have to reach out. It's just whatever. But let's go ahead and talk about balancing it and how. How do you balance yours, corporate life and balance and social life? What do you do? Um, well, I think it's different for everybody. 100%. So, like, just to preference, what I feel like balancing may be different than what you feel like balancing. But, so, the core of what I do, or in my degree, is really to, like, emphasize on having a balance, if that makes sense. Because I think when you go too much with work, like you overwork yourself and yeah you need that out, like outlet you know? you know so i'm a i'm a hundred percent like definite on setting boundaries so i said i'm boundaries what I mean and this by bitch that, says boundaries like boundary bound like they're big what boundaries. i mean by that is um well let me just take this no matter you know no matter what type of corporate job you have um the higher your title the higher the responsibility so 
you know, what someone who gets paid hourly may do something, you know, different and not be held accountable. But, you know, if you're a director yeah, or manager. You're a regional manager or something like that, you may have to do a little bit more. Because yeah. That's what expected of your title. So I just want to put that out there, first of all. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> for me, one thing that I'm strong on is boundaries in terms of, like, home life. So I have a work phone, right? But once I get home, that work phone is not touched. Like, yeah. I literally leave it in my car because... You shouldn't do that. I know, but I put it in my console. Um, okay, good. I yeah. was going to say, it's so, kind of hot here. Yeah, I put it in my console. I put it in my purse or my work bag because I don't answer any phone calls, any emails or anything once I'm home. Yeah. Like, weekends, I don't even know I have a work phone. Yeah. So that's something for me that I... Does my hair look weird? It's okay. Oh, it so, I just, look bad. so I just keep it behind my ears. Yeah, just behind. Okay. Um, so that's something that I do to balance it. Um, yeah. Because to me, like, I don't feel the need to talk to like an agent or talk to like my boss or someone um, if it's really not like urgent. If yeah. That makes sense. And I feel like that's a good way to do it because like there are some people or there are some jobs that you really can't turn off your phone like you know a realtor it's a job that's on 24 7 so obviously this may not work for that kind of person or i don't know who else is kind of like that there's some jobs that are like 24 7 so a consultant too is what i'm gonna soon be like even with realtors and stuff i think like one thing that we advocate to my because like my director she has to run on the weekends because she deals with like more higher problems yeah it can't just be okay on a friday night let me move you yeah i mean she has to do it but even with her, like I told her, like, even if it's an hour a day, like, you have to just turn it off. Yeah. Because consultants, real estate agents, like, doctors, like, they work constantly because they have to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they're going to get burnt out. And I think, like, just even if it's an hour a day, just turn it off. Yeah, and I think that's healthy to, like, have a moment to yourself, you know, because I do think setting boundaries and setting, like, time slots. I've heard this, I heard this term a lot. I don't have them. I really wish I could put like time slots where it's like okay from this. Oh, to, time blocking. Uh, yeah, like time blocking. Oh, I that's. My I wish I, I don't know if it's just because like one my I do have time blocks at my jobs, but they're for like you know appointments that I do, and um, but I do like you know you turn it off. I think that's a, a healthy way to do it. It's like okay, this is from I work from nine to six, so from six to whatever time I go to bed, I'm having leisure time. Whether that's you're working out hanging out with your friend, a glass of wine, whatever you're doing to do it. And I think that's the perfect way. Um, but um, I do think people tend to like feel like they have to, you know, oh, I'm doing extra work, but they don't even get recognized for it. So I'm always just like, why do more? Like you don't, that's not your job description. You know what I mean? Like when people are like, oh, I'm just going to do this extra thing, like say 10 minutes. I'm like, why? Mm. Well, for me, I feel like it depends on what your end goal is, right? Because I feel like if you have the end goal to like move up, Right, you but that also it also depends on because some people like get overlooked. Like, yeah, you're doing all this overwork, and you're they're like, oh, good job, mm -hmm. but it's kind of like, mm -hmm. are you gonna be moved up? Like, well, I think it depends on who you are because there's well, actually we're dealing with that now. Like, this one girl puts in a lot of work and stuff, but she's very silent, right? She doesn't really yeah. speak up about it. Yeah, we have yeah. This other agent who is, is very the same amount of work, but but I if I like ask her something she will she's coming to me like she's bringing it to my attention like hey carissa i see late last night realizing like this theory but i also read about this one like why aren't we doing it you know what i mean and she's like, like literally letting she, you know like hey i'm doing yeah, this yeah she's bringing it to my attention yeah. because you can be putting in a lot of hours of work and it's like not being recognized for it but think about it like five other people are doing it so what's gonna make it what's spot? gonna stand you what's out? out and that's something that what i've learned with like people that I'm like looking at and even like myself, like yeah. you have to really like let your voice be known or you're gonna be overlooked. And that's the issue I'm having with Derek too because he's a very like go above and beyond, but he's not vocal about it. And let me tell you something about like, especially with Derek, right? Like in his field of profession, they're gonna work you until and, you can And they're gonna work you. Yeah. If you give them a like, if you give them like a hey, I want to do overtime. Cool. We need that. We're not gonna. We're not gonna tell they're you. They're never no. gonna say no. Yeah. They're never gonna say no, and they're gonna keep using you, keep using you. And that's what you, I told him. But you need to say like, hey, what like you told me today. Frame it. Hey, I want to be store manager. What do I need to do to get from here to there? Yep. And, it, and when people ask me that, I love it. I said, okay, now I, as a person of like hiring and stuff, 
I'm, you're my radar. Derek Pineda is in my radar now. I know that he came to me and said he wants to work. Yeah. So when the first position comes up, or even not in my store, but in like a San Antonio or whatever, because like they all kind of Yeah, yeah. So it's like, hey, I know like Kyle's hiring for a store manager. I look at Derek. Now I'm looking at what Derek's doing, right? Oh, I see Derek has been putting in work for X, Y hours. I exactly. See Derek has you need to be here. vocal. And that's what I've been telling him. I'm like, dude, like, go up there and be like, what do I have to do to do that? Like, yeah. what? What? Be I'm vocal. doing all this stuff. Because I told him, like, once you let them know that you are helpful, they're going to abuse that help. And they're going to do whatever you do. And then you're coming home that's yelling. And I'm just like. <laughs> and that's the thing with, like, work-life like, work balance, too, right? Yes. I think, like. When you come home frustrated because of your job. Leave it at the door as much as possible. Because sometimes you need to vent to your person. Like, you know, there's days where I'm, like, stressed. Like, this past week I was – I had a bad bad few days, you know. And I was stressed out. I didn't want to bring it home too much because you want to decompress. You don't want to have to – you're going to have to go back. You don't want to have to have it here. Derek had a nice – big gold glass of wine for me Mm -hmm. to relax and try not to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Because, like, I have a – Okay, I don't know. Tell me if this is my issue, first of all. Because I have a problem. Like, it's hard because, like, you want to be the person to vent to. Like, I want to vent to you everything. But when you're, when I'm hearing you're venting, it's kind of like, I see how you can, how that problem doesn't have to occur again. But, like, you're not doing it, if that makes sense. Like, I'm telling you what's happening. And I'm like, well, if you would you just do this, you wouldn't have this problem right now. Mm-hmm. But you're, like, venting it out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I guess I'm not being a good listener. Is that what it is? So, what's your question? Like, is, like, you're not being a good listener? Is that what I'm doing? Am I wrong? So I think, okay, so... With, Sorry, I don't know why no, no, okay. I just kind of came out. So with venting, you have to really have two types of hats on. You're going to have the hat on where some people just want to vent their frustration. They're not looking to have the problem solved. Okay, okay, so thank when you. So when someone's venting on it, it's like, okay, how they're kind of saying it, it's like Derek just wants to vent. He's not looking to solve a problem. He just frustrated and wants to get it out. So okay, for you okay. to be the receiver, mm. you have to say, okay, he's not looking to me the tell him the problem he just wants to vent out he wants to let and it that's out that's fine so yeah now let's say that one time now let's say that happens on a monday and tuesday happens and he comes with the same problem okay let's kind of read him again if he still isn't looking for an answer put the hat on now we're on a wednesday the same problem now it's like hey i've heard you vent about this two times for the same problem can i offer you why that's happening and he has to be mature enough to be like, okay so what's wrong but sometimes people just want to like vent their issues. Now there's not really a problem that needs to be solved. They're just angry because the customer pissed them off. Yeah, that's, you know what I mean? yeah, I get that. I feel you know just being a better listener because like I said again, like I don't know if it's just like us just being us pe- type well, sometimes of people. Sometimes we like for me, I've learned this a lot. Like sometimes you just people just want to vent and like although you know why, what can stop them? Sometimes you just have to like sit like stomach and be like, okay, I, I don't need to offer my help because clearly they don't want it at this moment in time. Yeah, they just want to vent. Yeah, I feel that. Janelle Henry's the biggest one of that. <laughs> <laughs> like she'll vent. I said Janelle is just completely venting and she's not looking for you to solve a problem. Yeah, she just wants to vent. Love you, sis. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I get it. I you get it. To a certain extent. What? Like you two to a certain extent. I love help. No, like. So- you're the person that told me if I put my hand on the <laughs> stove and <laughs> you tell me to do something, I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> do you remember that? <laughs> okay, and I that love... St- that has been embedded in me since the day you said that. So now How I'm old was okay. I when I said that? Here, you were... This year. It was, it, was the, it was literally like... Yeah, it had to be like 2021. Yeah, it was 2021. It was literally like not even like a long time ago. We're in the I do recall saying but that, that is, but I don't know if I've said it in my adulthood. No, you did. You did, because we were all living in the house. I remember that really. I remember I stormed upstairs and I slammed the door and I yelled at you guys. You don't remember that? Oh, which time? Oh, no. We scream all <laughs> the time. But basically, like that, that exact analogy yeah. that you used was embedded in my head, and that's why I never really offer for help. But first off, unless you ask me, hey, Kati, can I need your advice. If you notice that I've never asked her. I never told you. Like I don't offer my help anymore. I, I mean, I never really asked or looked for it I so know, but i would always do it like like i would have Derek was venting like if you would vent or janelle would vent i would automatically give you my am advice. i the problem no am i the drama no no no, no. but that's what the like, venting that's why you have to really put in two hats because sometimes people like don't want help they just want to express themselves and you have to yeah. listen to them and be like okay like Derek or whoever it is just wants to express themselves but if yeah. you're venting over the same problem I love you babe I don't even listen so for cares. four days then yes and that's when you offer help yeah four okay. days have been and, I, and that's a good way to like balance things like you know come home 
another be that t- person to vent yeah. to like i said put your hats on whatever your outlet is if you're drinking you're working out you're whatever just don't do there's too like much two, there's like two things i also want to talk about so the second thing with work-life balance i think is important is your partner okay because this is something i really want to make it known for people i feel like who your partner is really can help with that work-life balance that stress that stress um what? sorry i didn't know this oh. twisted i think like your partner has to understand you know what because as much as you feed off of your partner ultimately it's your it's your own person yeah yeah. you know you know in your heart what makes you happy what makes you decompress and sometimes it doesn't cannot involve doing certain things right so like if you come home and your decompress is just sitting down with a glass of wine and like that's it like you don't want to go for a walk you don't want to cook dinner. You don't want to play a board game or something. Like, you're, in your mind, you want to just whatever. So I think it's important to have that conversation with your partner and say, hey, like, my work. And some job may not be high stressful, depending on what you are. But I think, like, sometimes you say, hey, like, you know, work is going to be tough this week or work's going to be this this week. Like, um, if I come home and, like, all I really want to do is this, like, this is what's going to happen for whatever. Mm-hmm. How something that happens to you? I feel like sometimes you come home and your partner doesn't either match your energy, understand your energy, and they can contribute to your more your stress that's already happening. Oh, my God, Chris. That's such a great insight. I love yeah. that because... You know, um, I can only speak from my personal experience because mm-hmm. there are some days where um, it's vice versa. Like, you know, your energy is not matched. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? You're just whatever that but your partner's not helping you and you're just getting and then it's arguments. You know what I mean? Like that. And I think that's a great advice, you know, mm-hmm. but I do think, you know, talk to them like, hey, this week's going to be stressful. I'm going to be on edge. So please don't, you know, don't expect me to, to like, want to watch this game. Uh, yeah. Or if, like, be, or if I'm going to be or if I'm going to snap you something I normally yeah. don't snap. You know, you know, Mercury's in retrograde right now, so it's a big, a lot of energies are going around. But mm-hmm. if people believe in that or not, but people that do understand, mm-hmm. it's a lot of things are going. And mm-hmm. that's great insight. Like, you know, what's your partner? And, and your partner, oh my God, your partner should also be understanding on the receiving end too like you know mm-hmm. like okay this week's stressful for i mean as long as it's not like a common like mm-hmm. every single week you've been a bitch i'm like all right dude like what what now my now i gotta match you because it's like yeah. i can't tiptoe around you which yeah. is like you know i'm you know i'm blessed with the lefty that daryl's a very daryl who the hell is daryl oh my god <laughs> daryl mm-hmm. Derek's very level-headed when it because when i'm like very stressed or upset like i'm very hard to talk to you know what i mean Mm -hmm. i guess one may say stubborn (laughs) you know i would like to think of myself as a very understanding open kind of gal and older i'm getting and you know people's telling me i guess i'm not Mm -hmm. you know what i mean so it's kind of like you know i like that partner matches energy i I like that insight it gets misconstrued sometimes because i think like sometimes you think they're mad at you're mad at them but just like i'm not mad at you nothing you're doing it's just I'm stressed right yeah, now. Yeah, because a work-life balance is like finding balance. And sometimes, like, when you go home, you... Well, how do I say it? Like, work-life balance, it helps your psyche. <coughs> so when you go home and you're not having balance there, you're ultimately not having work-life balance, you know? Um, so, like, so speaking from, like, my own experience, like, there's times where it's like, you know, you have to communicate with that because it's, you know, I'm not being like a, like rude or like not talkative because i don't like at the moment is that you know a lot of stuff happened but i also didn't communicate that so that's why i wanted to say like communicate with like whoever it is like hey this is gonna happen or it doesn't even have to be like your partner it could be your roommate it could your be whoever mom. you're yeah whoever's living with you <laughs> whoever's, whoever's with you just communicate and they have to be able to understand that the way you deal with stress and how you <laughs> oh my god these are not sturdy um the way you're dealing with it might not be the way they're dealing with it so like to me big old glass of wine with my trash reality shows and some cuddles you know that might not be you you don't like to be touched you know so i like, do like to be touched you, not, not when, when you're stressed no is that when you're stressed the last thing you want to do is <laughs> a hug to touch, you know yeah. what i mean like for me when i'm stressed i want to feel safe i want to be like I have my weighted blanket, which is left my mom's house. I probably need to go get that. Okay, when Gadis is mad, she doesn't want to be touched, doesn't want to be hugged, she wants to just be by herself. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I think another thing with like work life balance um, that I want to point out is like, what kind of ties along with boundaries, but being comfortable with saying the word no in both atmospheres. So, what I mean by that is like, if you're at home life, you're, you know, going out, whatever, but let's say you have, like, a project or something really big or you want to, like, something big, whatever, 
be comfortable with telling your friends or your partner or whatever say hey no i don't want to go out i don't want to do this because i have something to yeah do work. yeah like no girl you work saying, too much let loose you're gonna hear that a lot but be comfortable with saying no and then same thing with your work right if you're at work and you have like a date yeah. or you have something going on this weekend and they're like hey this product whatever needs to be done like you need to do over the weekend blah blah, blah. be comfortable saying the word no yeah say like hey you know like i'll get to it on monday you know i'll get to it like on oh, tuesday night how my hair looks is it even curly in the in the camera i can't really tell i can't either i won't um but be fine with the word no because i mean i think on both both platforms like how i found recently was like there are certain times where I'm like at home life and it's like, you know, no, I don't want to do that because I want to. And this is like not like a I have to be like make a personal choice. Like, no, like I have to be up early or I want to get to work earlier or something. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pass on this, you know, yeah. and they're going to bombard you with the whole you work too much, whatever. But also the same thing, like if I'm at my job, I'm like, hey, can you do something this weekend? I was like, you know, I'll do it on Monday. I won't come in this weekend. Yeah. Just learn to be comfortable with the work. I like that because I think people are scared to say no because of you know repercussions i mean not everybody's scared some people are just like i don't want to but i think that's a good you know outlook in like on it because it's like you know i don't i just don't feel like going out tonight i sh you should be okay with me just saying no mm -hmm. you know what i mean or like if your job is going wanting you to go above and beyond like hey do this like this project's not due till may 5th it's april 6th do you want to work on it this weekend no i don't you know what I mean? And I think being comfortable with saying no on both aspects, that's a great one. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, guys, I'm loving the insight you're giving today. <laughs> like, homegirl gets a salary job and she's uh, filled with, you know, insight. Mm -hmm. Well, mm. half my, well, my whole second degree was of this. What? IO. Industrial Organizational <laughs> What? <laughs> well, basically. I thought you were criminal justice. No, that was my minor, which was, uh, my minor that was. Wait, so there's a the bachelor, which, so your my, degree my, is psychology, your minor is criminal justice, yeah, and then your... My master's is in industrial organizational psychology. Okay, that's the third one. I was like, yeah. what, what, is, my, what, my what does that have to do with anything? Was, I didn't know what a minor was. So I thought, like, oh, I, I like criminal minds. Let me just go criminal justice. I know. I didn't think about it. I should have done something. But honestly, it's really bad. It made me knowledgeable in the criminal justice system. What which we may, we all need which to know. Which we all need, yeah. So it's, sure. it's good to have. I know my have. rights now. It's, I know my rights. <laughs> I know my rights now. My Miranda rights. <laughs> <laughs> I do, because we got to get tested on the Miranda rights. Oh, what are the, let me see, hold on. Hold on. The right to remain silent. Mm -hmm. The remind. The remind. I can't even say it, so. Wait, it's the, the right, right to remain silent. silent. Yeah, the right said, said or may, yeah, wait, the right to remain it. silent. Anything you said will or may be used against you. Terrible. In the court of law. In the court of law. The right to an attorney. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason I know that is because I've seen them on TV. Yeah. And that's the only thing they get passed. But I think every citizen's supposed to know that. Mm -hmm. So if they're not telling, they would have got me. I was like, I don't know anything besides like, mm -hmm. I, I'm That's not going to. That's why like in movies you would say like, I'm not speaking to have a lawyer. I was just about to say, I would like not to speak till I have a lawyer present. Yeah, same. Or when you're getting like handcuffed and stuff, that's why you just get it. Cause you don't want to say nothing for me. It's so crazy. Like, yeah. like, oh my shoe. This bitch said her shoe. Yeah. So she's the reason they had the shoe. Like, like it's it's insane. But I also think it's also crazy not to like switch it. But I think it's crazy. Like, I don't know what law or what it is, but basically, like, you can not even say like I shot Kara, but because it wasn't said in the right time, we can't even use this as evidence when we trial you. Yeah, that's what happened with Which like the the, the Amber Heard thing when she said something about that girl and the lawyer looked at john and they're like yes like they needed her to say that to put their defense i don't know maybe That's i should have my friend about, nikki on <laughs> because my my friend nikki's a lawyer and but what is she a lawyer for? she's a lawyer for like family so like child support getting kids like that but i mean you still you don't study everything but you have like a good basis mm -hmm. of stuff like she could look over a contract and give me her advice of the lawyer-esque things mm -hmm. but like obviously there it's like you know like a doctor you can ask a doctor about something but of course a heart doctor is going to know more about heart things yeah i don't know if that's the same thing no yeah when you become a lawyer like you know about i, was, I follow this youtuber who just graduated law school um yeah like you go through like all the lawyer stuff but then like you specialize in like yeah. what you want yeah it's like doctor like yeah. when you do like what well, i think is stupid but no because you need to know everything because like you're she hates real estate law she's like i hate it she's probably real estate law and i'm like she's like, i'm not even a real estate lawyer like i'm so mad that i'm going over this i'm like i feel you it's like if you it's a hard and like i guess like some like every like little thing like is harder than another one you know mm -hmm. like, all i want to do is just like school law like yeah you, you want to go to contracts like, or something like, yeah stuff like it's annoying but anyways he doesn't 
you do chunny when you shot your father mm-hmm. i didn't mean it why now why this sperm <laughs> like i always, i never got that like i wish can some lawyer explain to me what that means and she's like but why now why this sperm and he was like i think you just won your case how did she win the I case know. how how did elwood win the case with the sperm i, I don't know. get it me either. please explain to us anyway work-life balance have it okay because you need to like you need to release like a human is not meant to just go 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 all day like we need to have some kind of stimulation of some sort and it's it's good it's okay mm-hmm. have you know what you you need to know in yourself like i have been working a lot i need to be okay with having some yeah. fun no you don't have to go get you know drunk in a bar have some lunch with your friends mm-hmm. you know what i mean go and i think with like working in like whether it's a corporate life or not um you know, I think what I always tell people is like you can't be the best leader, you can't be the best agent or the best salesperson if you're not the best. So I think like mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Like your mindset's not the best. You know, if you're stressed up here, you're gonna be stressed here and no one's gonna like listen to you or whatever title you have, whatever. Um, so I think like really making sure that you're if you look in the mirror every morning and if you look in the mirror every morning and you can say, I'm ex now Every job can have a stress, I understand that. But if you wake up in the morning and you can say, I'm like excited to go to work or today's gonna be a great day. And yeah, I was gonna say, be same, a great day, not because nobody wants to really and work. If you can look at yourself in the mirror at night and say, okay, I'm happy to be home. If you can both say that, then you're on the right track. If yeah. you don't say that, you need to reevaluate like what what is going on am i putting too much effort into work so i'm neglecting my home personal life Mm -hmm. or am i putting too much you know in my personal life and not my work like it needs to be like even level like you know like obviously there's gonna be some days where you're gonna be a little more on work because the project but then like set some like i think the if you are off weekends perfect thing as soon as it's friday five o'clock six o'clock whatever saturday sunday don't touch my phone not gonna work out or think of all the work emails we have whatever whatever day you're off like you don't even have to go like and i also think it's hard sometimes because like some people when they have like that one or two days off that's the day they do everything you know i have to go grocery shop i have to go do this so it's hard to have like you know you're balancing and things like that and that's where your time block comes in you know you know sleep in a little bit whatever you're doing go grocery shop and then still have a time for you like just 24 hours in a day you know what i mean you could do so much i love time blocking if you're not familiar with it google it try it and i'm sure it'll help your life I want to pretend I'm a time blocky girly, put it on a planner. I'm not. And I've come to terms with it. I'm not a put it on a put in. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, I wanna, but I don't really. I plan- want to be so bad. I'm not. <laughs> I see you know how many planners are under my bed. But I know I need to get them. Like I need to start doing. Um, I don't really do planners more. Say, I, but I do need to get like <laughs> Am a, I on the wrong track. What's wrong with my life? I need to get like a like a big desk calendar one. Oh, I love you know a desk calendar. When I, when, I was the sh- when I was at Target, but they all had June. I'm like, no, I, I told month. you to get it. No, but I don't need it. It's not June it's in 27 days it will be <laughs> if you would have had it it was like the end of march you could have stomach a may I couldn't. you don't have it now march, so what are you doing april may that's too much i don't think it was that far back it was i got my job in march so it was april may it was oh, what are you using now nothing exactly so if you would have had the desk calendar you would have still I been doing my nothing Google on my phone. but that's what i'm saying you would have had it now and you would have still been like doing nothing i like to write it on it but i needed to like start in june like, can I get well it in now march? you got it you can well, actually they start in july but oh, it was in july. i think it was I july i'm gonna worse. get a desk calendar i don't need one because like everything's digital at my job like all my appointments my time blocking everything's like on my calendar at work i just mm-hmm. want to pretend well, i don't time block like with my planner at all like I don't okay can you down. explain to everyone what time blocking is or how do you do a time block because maybe i'm just not understanding what it is oh well it, it, it's gonna be exactly what you think it is but i don't do it physically oh, okay I do it, like mentally and digitally so basically all time blocking is is that you just block out of time so like <laughs> so <laughs> thank for you me, for so l- for me how i do it is like for work, I'll do it. I'll do an example for work, and I'll do an example for personal life. So in the morning, like I, so I have like a coaching, right? So I have to coach somebody. So from and my coaching starts at eleven thirty. So from seven thirty to like seven forty-five, I give. Myself, so you're just like putting time aside. Put time aside, and you and you close your windows. You close. You lock your door. I have a playlist that's like my get going playlist. Oh, cute. Place. So I have my playlist going. Oh, I'm good have my coffee everything that i need to get ready and i just for that 15 minutes do what 
ever it is. My email's down, my phone's on do not disturb, which is sometimes why I don't apply to you guys. Everything is like on not disturb, and I get that stuff done. Because there's nothing stopping you from doing it because all distractions are gone. So you can do it for like a 15 minute or an hour, whatever it is. So that's how I do it and it really works. Same thing when I do at, at my house. So I'll put like, okay, my restroom, I need to clean for like 15 minutes. I need to really deep clean or an hour. So I'll put my timer on for like 45 minutes, headphones in, nothing else. My mom calls me, don't hear her. My phone's popping off, don't answer it. Like nothing's going on and I just boom. And honestly, it works for me. Like I just need just all it is is dedicating a certain time. To do yeah, I think people need to, I tried. I just, I'm just kind of a mesh. Mm-hmm. nothing everything meshes together like i know i'm cleaning my bathroom i'm cleaning my room i'm doing this Even and it, it just works like on meshes too, together like, i have to do some stuff i have to do on the weekends for my job but that's because i i like to do it um so like for me it's like even for today for a sunday i gave myself a 30 minute window only 30 minutes to prep so out of my 24 hour day today 30 minutes is like work whatever and then i did it for 30 minutes and then boom and then now i'm done so now like i have the whole day to do whatever yeah like, you time blocked, time blocked. worked so you I, balanced out your life i some people don't work like that um some people don't think it's helpful there's other ways to do it just find um, what's best for you but, i feel yeah, but you have me, to try everything i think like try time blocking i mean don't actually never so listen to my good advice for me in college like i would time block the fuck out of everything and it would like help me out so much i'm just not disciplined even if I have the time block, it'll be there, but it's not gonna. I'm not gonna listen to it. Mm-hmm. So, I'm still on the journey of finding what's best for me in all aspects of my life, and that's mm-hmm. what makes me fun, right? Yeah. Well, we can go ahead and wrap this up. I think you did give a lot of insights from a, um, you know, a corporate girl. We love seeing women thrive. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying I'm a corporate girly because I work at an office in a corporate, even though my job isn't like yours. But mine does get stressful, and it's, honestly, my job gets stressful as as stressful as I make it. You. That's a good point jobs are stressful as long as you make it yeah because like you can you know overthink or put more, all this pressure and sometimes it's not and i i guess i should have put my episode out last week because that's was a, something i put like um i said it's kind of more i'm very more of a like you know don't let it go with the flow like give advice like don't put as much because it's never everything's not that serious you know i mean there obviously there are serious issues but like you're making it stressful you're making it like I think if time blocking helps you like okay now i have 30 minutes to not and also ask for help too by the way you're putting too much pressure on yourself ask for help if you have it but yeah stressful delegating is, is also a thing that causes work-life balance stress delegate like yeah, ask for help guys like if it's putting too much stress on you oh, hopefully you have a team where you work that is nice to do that because where am i'm at or, or i'm at everybody's helpful like if i'm like hey i'm getting overwhelmed i know people are there to help you know but um yes yeah, it's, it's a stress it's as stressful as you make it mm-hmm. you know what i mean obviously don't let it burn down and neglect your life but like you know be good stress is not always bad what yes yeah, stress is not always bad. i don't i prefer not to stress stress is not always bad why i, I would prefer to be stress-free as much as possible i mean so we won't get into it but stress isn't always bad it's bad as when you make it bad i'm confused <laughs> I, wait I, i'm so, sorry before like, we end i want to know what do you mean i mean is so it like is it like is that like a good stress have you ever heard of that? Yeah, I've heard of... I think I saw it in a vlog once. Yeah, so there's something called good stress. And then... So basically, like, our fight and fly and everything, like, we have to... To survive as humans and survive as things and to kick us in the butt and get us motivated... There's that have, biology. You have stress. <laughs> Sometimes it's good. Now, when stress gets bad is when you... When the little stress meter is like, okay, good stress. And it's like, hey, like, stress is getting a little too crazy. And that's when it's like, boom it's a bad thing yeah so that's why it was in like psychologists or in clinicians when people talk about like stress and burnout and all that stuff they say like you know stress is not a bad thing it has a negative connotation to it but sometimes it can help you in a lot of ways yeah but when you don't know how to manage your stress that's when it gets okay. like boom yeah to me, like i have a stressful thing sometimes but it's not like the end of the world end of the world it's like oh okay like you know i have a problem oh how do you fix it oh ideas start flying right but if i have like deadline here deadline there deadline here and but I that's because that you had terrible time management and I don't have, i'm not managing my stress and everything now it's like boom so sometimes stress isn't always the thanks best. that was you good I mean? i'm yeah. glad i didn't let you off with that because that's something i feel like people need to hear because i've heard like good stress heard about, that's a, yeah sure i've heard of good heard stress where it. it's like this isn't the end of the world it's your stress like sometimes you need like you know a fire under your ass to like I was gonna say, yeah, to yeah, get something, something. Like, you need something to like motive like you need that like ah uh, mm-hmm. still trying to find my like fire my friend caitlin or a lot of my friends like they were those type of people that like uh, thrive off the stress essay was due at 12 59 
or 11.59, it started at 11. Like, to them, like, oh, it, it was good. To me, that would have stressed the fuck out of me. Like, that, yeah. I would have done it. But to them, that was good stress. Yeah, some people, in, some people operate on high yeah. stress situations. Yeah, yeah. I'm not one of them. I'm a crier. Mm-hmm. I cry and sh- I cry at everything. <laughs> stress yeah. sad anyway we don't need to get back into my <laughs> issues as we always do at this podcast well thanks sis for coming on and taking Janelle's seats i self-plug follow my personal youtube channel i have i'm vlogging again i have content over there my tiktok our tiktok um like comment subscribe give us a review give us honestly some you know feedback. topics you want us feedback what you want us to talk about nothing's off limits over here today's emojis we're gonna try to do the little gavel i think there's a gavel emoji mm-hmm. i think something law related law, you know yeah something law related on there um do you have anything to say to the doers before we let it go i have nothing i have nothing to plug <laughs> nothing to plug um, i mean if you follow them like my app will be at the bottom <laughs> <laughs> just follow this them post app. ever just follow, follow her. Me my app Honestly, we need to know, like, I used to have the opportunity to be influenced. Like, I feel like you could have done something, but yeah. you just, you dropped back. I know. I told myself, I, I'm, I was telling them. Um, like, like, you I have know. all of, like, the resource, not resources, like. I had followers. You had it. Yeah. You could have been, we could have been something and live, doing, but you know, it's fine. That's a, a conversation for another day. Um, I've always had different wants in life. Yeah. Selfish. <laughs> anyway, viewers, thank you so much for listening today or watching whatever it is. We'll be back next week. And I think the always are. Oh, go. Oh. <laughs> she wanted to beat me. She always says it. I know, you can say it. I was saying, um, where I think we're moving to Tuesdays this week. If not, if we're right here on Monday, just like, oh, this. If not, we'll see you on Tuesday. <laughs> editing depends how fast i can get this up um go ahead sis and always remember to no no matter if you have a work-life balance or not <laughs> always remember to date you sis always says that. i know <laughs> i i have a terrible job closing i cannot close anything to save my life hence why like I-